CBS Movie News Live. It's going to be a wild one today. we got a lot of topics to cover. Uh, but first of all, you may have noticed that we don't have our new set yet. Um, What's going on? Boo! It's not ready. Our year set isn't ready. Uh, we're still working on it. You can blame Guardians of the Galaxy 2 for that. Uh, my girl Vicky, who has been helping us make the set, she just got pulled away to work on Guardians of the Galaxy 2, so she's been really busy. So we're working on it. But we do have, you can kind of see this plant. We do have a plant. This is part of the set. So our plants came in, so that's really exciting. So big thanks to everyone on Patreon who is helping make this set possible. We're working on it day and night. And I'll be posting, I'll be, yeah, uh, T-Bone, you got some pictures? Yeah, yeah, it's happening. Uh, it's. Can I tell them what it's going to be? I mean, we kind of gave them a picture. Uh, yeah. It's going to be like a Hollywood hill, and it's going to say like comic book rolling teen, like in Hollywood letters. It's like, it's kind of goofy, but uh, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, that's exciting stuff. For our Patreon people, also be on the lookout. I'll be posting some updated photos. We have, it actually looks like a mountain now, so that'll be exciting. Uh, another big announcement here. We have hit... Half a million, 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm so excited. That's amazing. Like, thanks, guys. That's really, that's really great. After uh, four years, the, we got to half a mil. So here's, right. the, here's the next half, guys. So, all right, let's get into BS Movie News Live. Let me give you a rundown of all the topics that are going on. Uh, before we get into everything. We are going to be talking about the Great Wall Matt Damon controversy, a Luc Besson sued by John Carpenter controversy, uh, Flop Alert Ben-Hur remake, Mel Gibson's Hacksaw Ridge trailer just dropped, uh, Beetlejuice 2 is probably not happening. All right, so let's start with Luc Besson being sued by John Carpenter. Oh my goodness. So I didn't see this movie. Apparently Luc Besson made this movie called Lockout and apparently it's just a super big ripoff of uh, Escape from New York and Escape from LA uses elements from both of those, both of those movies. Uh, and I watched the trailer for it today and even like, okay, so if you don't know about Escape from New York, uh, you have Kurt Russell in the titular role of Snake Plissken and he's a super badass, an eye patch, and he's got a snake on his stomach. It looks like it was John and Sharpie in the first movie. Uh, and he has to go into these like parts of uh, the United States that have been turned into like a giant prison and save president's daughters. This happened in both LA and New York. Uh, so in this movie, we have a guy named Snow, not Snake, played by Guy Pierce, and he's the badass. He doesn't have an eye patch though, or a Sharpie tattoo, but he has to go to this orbiting prison thing in space and he's got to save the president's daughter and so um, you had John Carpenter who was like hey man like you're really ripping off my movie so he took it to court and was like hey you can't do this and you know a lot of times when I've heard of these things going on like you don't they usually don't go through but this time the judge was like oh yeah you guys ripped off uh, Escape from LA and Escape from New York so yeah, you should pay John Carpenter. And originally it was like, it was $89,000, but then Luc Besson was like, no, fuck that. I am gonna appeal this motherfucker. And so he appealed it, and then the judge got pissed that he appealed it, and then ordered him to pay five times as much. So now he has to pay like half a million dollars uh, to John Carpenter. So uh, yeah, that's pretty nuts. So I've, this isn't the first time that I've brought up Luc Besson uh, getting sued. Uh, he was also almost sued by Alejandro Jodorowsky for The Fifth Element for ripping off his comic The Inkle. But because Mobius worked on The Inkle and worked on The Fifth Element, it muddied the waters legally, so, you know, nothing happened with it. Um, but so this isn't the first time that Luc Besson has been called out by an artist for, like, taking shit. Yeah, we reported on that in a Fifth Element thing, but a lot of people were telling me I was, like, full of shit. But I was like, no, nah, I've read The Inkle. You probably haven't. There's a lot of the same shit going on here, but whatever. I mean, it's called The Fifth Essence in The Inkle, but it's The Fifth Element, you know, in that movie. But I love The Fifth Element. I have nothing against it. Um, now, if you don't remember, a few years ago for our calendar, we made, uh, I dressed up Beans, my cat. Dressed her up like Lilu Dallas, multi-pass. And I realized that somebody stole our picture and made a meme out of it. Yeah, the person who made the meme, they put their name on it, but that was, that's my stupid cat. So, uh, yeah, awesome. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna, 
there's a, a link to our Fifth Element cosplay video. It's going to be in the description uh, later on on YouTube. We also so. have a picture of robot. Oh, yeah. We got some more pictures. Show a Corbin Dallas robot if you guys never saw this. I don't know if you've, I don't know how many people saw this or not. This is totally ridiculous. We had to make pants for Robot, and that was his first time wearing pants. Like, this was it. This was the first time of him wearing pants. I think he's, there, there we go, there we go. Yeah, look at those pants. Although, in the final photo, I don't think he's wearing the pants. I think that we took the pants off. But, yeah. man, that was a bitch to put those on him. He was just, I don't know, it was a whole thing. It was a, it was a crazy Here's shoot. Uh, but, yeah, this is the final picture that we came up with, and uh, we had a lot of fun. You can't see my Zori helmet. I had a, a plastic thing made for the side of my head. It was really awesome, um, but you can't really see in that photo. But anyways, so moving on. <laughs> uh, flop alert. Flop alert. Uh, there's a Ben-Hur movie that nobody asked for. It is being made, and I guess they spent like $100 million on it, and it's set to make maybe 10 to $15 million in its opening weekend because, like, everything's flopping. They really front-loaded this summer with, like, all the good stuff, and now, like, it's just all these crappy movies that are coming out. Uh, it sucks for me being a movie reviewer because I'm just like, what the fuck am I supposed to talk about? Ben Hur, you know? Well, I'm not gonna make a freaking video about that. I already knew that was. I I'm. I don't know why they decided to make that, but whatever. You know, it's fine. I guess. Good. Good for you guys. We're not gonna watch it. No, we're not. No, we're not. I need to go see Hunt for the Wilder People. That's what I need to go see. Watch because I actually want to go see that. And here, it's actually really good. So I'm gonna go see that instead. All right, moving on. We have the Great Wall. Matt Damon controversy going on. But it's Matt Damon's upcoming movie that's generating a lot of headlines and controversy over how race is depicted on film. Uh, okay, so apparently, I've been hearing rumors about this Great Wall movie that's coming out, and for some reason, I just thought that like this was only gonna be released in China or something. Like, I, I didn't think that this was gonna be released here, but apparently it is. I had no idea. I watched the trailer for it last night, I don't even know what is going on. So apparently the premise is is they built the Great Wall not to protect themselves from like the Huns or whatever, but from dragons or something. I don't know, dragons maybe? I don't know, I, I wasn't there. I don't know, maybe it was dragons, I, I don't know. But uh, I do know that Matt Damon is a white guy and he's in it and he's like supposed to be like, the, the main, he's the main character. He's like the last samurai, you know. Even though the last samurai is great, you know, it does suck to see these movies where like the white guy always goes over, and then he saves all the people, all the not white people all the time, yeah, we you know. Well, yeah, and I, yeah, I don't know the details of the plot. I don't know if he saves the whole nation or I, I don't know. Uh, Taiwanese American actress Constance Wu. Uh, went went on and, and kind of did this internet letter about how friggin' lame this is, like just how fucking lame it is to have Matt Damon and like why and can you please put an Asian man in there? Like please, can we have some Asian dudes? You know? And it's like I fuck, I feel you, girl. I feel you so hard. I would like to see that as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean this this whole movie looks really crappy, and you know I I want to I do want to see some Asian men and Asian women in lead roles in films this movie looks like it sucks it looks like another gods of egypt to be i mean it might be it looks like okay this is what this movie reminds me of i was i watched the trailer and immediately i was like d wars d wars if you don't know about d wars okay fuck this movie is from like south korea and it's like another one of those like white guy this 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 white guy and this white chick in LA, they're reincarnated from these like South Korean people from a long time ago. And there's like this dragon, like, there's these two dragons, there's like a good dragon and an evil dragon. And like there's just all, it's like a CGI fuck fest of dragons. Like it is insane. And uh, it's really kind of bad. And I own, I own that on DVD too. Uh, I don't know. It was one of those things where you're at the movie store, you know, when they, we used to have movie stores. And it was like buy two, get one free, you know, at like Blockbuster or something. So I just needed like a free one. And I was like, well, fuck, I'll try D Wars. And I did, and it's really bad. So, and I made T Bone watch it. I made director T Bone watch it. I was like, dude, you gotta see this. So I think this is my next D Wars. So check that out if you haven't already. Uh, moving right along, we have Mel Gibson's Hacksaw Ridge trailer. Uh, I, just, I just checked that out before coming over here today. Um, but 
I actually was like interested in seeing this movie because it's about Andrew Garfield's character. He's like a southern guy, which yay south, I'm from the south, so represent. And he is a pacifist, but he also feels the need to join the war. Like he wants to join the war, but he doesn't want to kill anybody and he doesn't want to use weapons. And so he goes through this big thing of like, you know, he's like, I gotta stand up for my principles and I want to help whatever, but like I refuse to kill people to do that. I want to save people. That's what I want. I want to go over there and I want to save lives. So I'm not sure if exactly if he's a medic or like what the deal is. I assume he's a medic or something, but that's interesting to me. Like that's an interesting new war concept. Like I haven't seen a war movie where the main character refuses to kill people. I think that's really fucking cool. And is this based on a true story, T-Bone? This is based on a true story. And this, and this based on a true story thing is really where Mel Gibson shines because Mel Gibson is back. He's directing a real movie. You know what? I, you know, he's been in the doghouse long enough. Like, let's let him direct a movie again because dang, he might be your crazy drunk uncle that says like really fucked up shit at Thanksgiving, you know, that you're just like, whoa, whoa, you can't say like racist weird shit like that. But he's really great at directing and I just would love to see more movies of his. Like, dude, his first movie that he directed, like out of the gate, he won best director and best picture, okay? Like, you fucking Apocalypto, are you kidding me? Uh, so yeah, I'm down. I mean, there's a lot of directors out there. I ain't gonna name names, but there's some directors out there who've done some real fucked up shit. Like, not just like talk shit when they're drunk. Like, they've actually like, you know, diddled kids, diddled kids and like molested people and like fucked up shit. You know, I just feel like he's been in the doghouse long enough. So moving on, Beetlejuice 2 is probably not happening. What a relief, what a relief. Cause I really didn't want to see that. And I still don't, and I'm excited that it's not. Uh, Michael Keaton was saying that he doesn't think it's going to happen and because they're like if they want to do it They want to do it right and it just doesn't seem like the right the right things are happening So good for them good for them for not being assholes and forcing something when they don't